to my channel. Today we're actually going to be making keto pizza casserole. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so my ingredients are really simple. All of this was probably under $20. So I, and I usually shop at Walmart. I got this mild Italian sausage, ground beef, um, I already had some of these things on hand. The Hunt's pasta sauce. And then I just bought a big bag of this mozzarella cheese, pepperoni. I already had some pasta sauce. And then I chopped up one bell pepper and then onion. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're just gonna, I like to, even though I'm making ground beef and ground Italian sausage, I always like to put a little bit of olive oil in there so it won't stick to the pan. Okay, so we will go ahead and get started on this. And you can use whatever toppings. The toppings that I'm actually going to be using are bell pepper and pepperoni. That's what my family likes to And it's really simple to make this recipe. And then so I'm just gonna go ahead and add onion so that can cook down really good. Add a little bit of garlic powder, just a little bit, maybe like a tablespoon. And then Italian seasoning, I just usually eye it, probably another tablespoon. Probably a little bit more. And then a tablespoon of this minced garlic. And I'm just gonna add a spoon of that in here as well. Like anything else we're gonna cook down the ground beef and the Italian sausage together and the Italian sausage adds a really good flavor to it as well so we're just gonna kind of start cooking it and if you don't have one of these like ground mashers I would definitely invest in these I'll link the one that I got below um, I actually got this on Amazon. All right, so I wanted to show you that the ground beef and Italian sausage mixture is done. So right now I'm just gonna put the sauce in here. You can use whatever sauce you want. I have the rest of this um, pasta sauce from this great value sauce from Walmart. And then I also have this Hunt's pasta sauce that I'm getting ready to use. Okay, so I'm just gonna stir everything uh, together, mix the pasta sauce and the meat mixture together. Then if you have like a casserole dish or any dish will work, but I usually use this glass one. And then I just spray it with this canola cooking oil. So this is what I do. I just spray the pan. And then, um, the meat mixture to the pan and if you're not doing keto or low carb you can also add pasta to this one of the ideas would be like this ziti pasta would go really good in this if you if you're not doing keto or low carb so the next thing that we're going to do is add the cheese and the toppings and then bake it in the oven. So this is four cups of mozzarella cheese. I'm probably gonna use about two or three cups. We'll see how much we'll need. So you just top it with as much cheese as you want. 
We're gonna add some pepperoni to it or whatever toppings you wanna use. Let's just put the pepperonis on top. We're gonna add these green bell peppers. Okay, so as you can see, it's ready to go in the oven and I'm just gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. And I put it on 350. Okay, so this is the final product. This is the keto or low carb pizza casserole. And like I said, I just paired it up with a salad. And um, tell me what you think about it. It's a little bit different because it doesn't have, you know, obviously the crust or anything, but it's really, really good and under $20. So thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.